I have such heavy flow that sometimes I wish, you know, I just like take out my uterus and just like throw it away. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Karina. So excited to be starting off my back to school content. I'm just a little bit sad for summer to be ending so soon, but I'm also very excited for fall content. Fall fashion is one of my favorite and back to school just falls right in the middle of that. So make sure you watch till the end of this video because I'm going to be covering back to school essentials that's going to save your life. We got fashion, we got function, we got trendy, we got style. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. So first up, we have a list of basic tees. So these are basic t-shirts that you can dress up or down and you know you want some cropped ones for those of you going back to college or university and some longer ones if your school has a dress code so i have a couple of t-shirts here they're all pretty basic and just different neutral colors i find those are the ones that i personally tend to reach for a lot during the school year because you don't really need to think about what to wear in the morning so you can go with a simple cropped tee i'm just pairing it with this mid-rise blue jeans but with these shoes because they number one super duper comfy definitely can last you the entire day even if you're running from class to class and and matches with the top or you can never ever go wrong with a simple white tee I was on the hunt for a good quality white t-shirt that feels very very comfortable to be in super lightweight breathable and not too tight or too baggy and not too cropped so this one is the one I found and I actually got the t-shirt from my giant thread up haul so thank you so much to thread up for sponsoring today's video oh my god you guys have no idea how much I freaking love shopping at ThreadUp. This time in particular, I feel like I scored so many back to school gems as well as some fall pieces that I cannot wait to show you. I've only ever tried on a Goldie denim, so I know they're slightly on a pricier side, but I've never tried on a Goldie t-shirt before and I was appalled to find out that <laughs> the retail price is $108. Like, why? Anyway, I got it off thread out for just $15 and I'm so happy I did because it's a basic t-shirt. So you can definitely leave it long like this and you won't get dress coated or you can just tuck it into your jeans like this. So the beauty with white t-shirt and a blue jeans combo is basically you can go with anything on top if you're feeling chilly. So you hang a sweatshirt over your shoulders like this. I've seen so many people do that and just comes across as super relaxed and casual and chill. You can tie it like this. You can do a flannel look with it. A hoodie. So moving on to the second essential that everyone should have when they're going back to school that is comfy hoodies and comfy sweaters I definitely think everyone should have a go-to comfy hoodie and I'm so happy I found one from thread up I just feel like something is cuddling me the entire day when I'm in this and this is by polo Ralph Lauren and it's also from thread up I got this for such such a good deal I think I got it for under $30 $29 or something like that estimated retail is over $150 for a hoodie which is insane but if you think about it it's the whole brand and the quality that goes behind this hoodie so you're getting that without paying the retail price for it and i know some of you guys are always asking karina how do you score these amazing items off of thread up every time i go to thread up i can't find anything in order to find something like this you would search polo ralph lauren hoodie on the side menu toggle it to extra large because that is what i did i wanted this to be a super relaxed boyfriend fit and you can also filter it by different colors so if you want it to be a navy blue like this one if you want a black one one if you want a beige one and I promise you you're gonna see so many different options that you can shop to your heart's content you're welcome <laughs> this hoodie is so thick and warm and comfy I know it's not just a pre-fall hoodie it's gonna last me all the way throughout the entire fall the entire winter and then back to spring I mean nobody goes back to school without a oversized sweatshirt with fleece on the inside this is just my most recent purchase and I absolutely love it to death it is so comfortable on the inside you can pair it with anything that you have jeans cargo pants even if you want to pair with a skirt with like a little pop of collar super preppy essential number three when going back to school we have different jacket varieties so over here i have a denim jacket a workout athleisure jacket a baseball jacket and a shirling jacket my favorite hands down has got to be this shirling jacket that i scored off of thread up the brand is a levi's brand and i got this in a size extra small so i got this off of thread up for 35 dollars while its estimated retail price is about 139 dollars i just can't believe it like just look at it it's in amazing amazing condition even the inside lining and the quilting and everything is just like top notch i actually saw a couple more of this exact same jacket on thread up so if you guys are interested make sure you search levi's jacket or levi's sherpa jacket or levi's shirling jacket the word shirling or sherpa might not always pop up on your search but if you just search for Levi's jacket I'm sure you'll see a couple more of these okay baseball jackets I felt really daring this year and I went with something <laughs> a 
little bit more out there in terms of colors. So over here we have a beige, green, and bright orange jacket. I think it's supposed to be for a men's, but you know what? I just copped it because I felt like it was a challenge for me to be able to wear this and style this. Denim jacket, just because everyone needs a good denim jacket in their closet. And then we have an active wear jacket or athleisure jacket or a workout jacket, whatever you want to call this. Okay, okay, dupe alert, you guys. Lululemon Define Jacket dupe, exact same fabric, exact same fit. I love how it has the finger holes here and it's just a very functional piece. Check it out. Dress coded? Not dress coded. Dress coded? No dress code. So moving on to pants, one of the few essentials that I would suggest for school is a pair of jeans that is not ripped in any way. And this is a really good pair of jeans that is a very classic cut. So it has a little bit of flair or a boot cut. And I've worn this so many, so many times on my social media, on my IG, on my TikTok. Every single time I wear it, I get questions where it's from. So definitely be linking it down below. It's from Revolve. Price tag is a little bit on the steeper side, but oh my God, it is so comfortable. It almost almost feels like a butter jeans, you know? If that hasn't been invented yet, someone needs to invent that kind of fabric because I would be all over it. Extremely stretchy, comes in very different washes and shades, and just an all-around classic pair of jeans to have whether you're going back to school or not. Okay, if you're not feeling the classic bootcut jeans and you want to be a little bit more on the trendier side, this pair that I've been wearing pretty much since the beginning of this video is one that I definitely recommend. It sits mid-waist and it fits on the baggier side. So I would suggest this to people who are a fan of the baggier jeans trend or the boyfriend jeans trend and not necessarily super ultra high-waisted. These jeans are also extremely similar to the Abercrombie & Fitch 90s low-rise jeans even though it sits nowhere near low-rise, which is more like a mid-rise. The ANF jeans is always sold out in my size for me. So yeah, this is a really good alternative. If you guys are truly fans of trendy stuff, then you know that low-rise cargo pants or parachute pants all over the internet right now. And I actually think they're very functional for going back to school because you can carry your snacks in all of the pockets as well as your little gadgets. This is a pair of low-rise cargo pants that I picked up from ThreadUp. It's by Abercrombie & Fitch, like from the true 2000s era. Like we're talking about real Y2K here with this pair of pants. Can't believe I got it for just 12 bucks when the estimated retail right now would be over 70 or even 80 dollars for a pair of pants from ANF. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are a fan of these low rise parachute pants or cargo pants or do you prefer more mid rise or something that goes a little bit higher covering your belly button. If you guys are apprehensive about the low rise cargo pants trans then I've got two extremely high waisted pair of cargo pants that I would like to recommend. I've worn these in so many of my socials again and every time I wear it people ask me where it's from and for the people who recognize these pants and who have already gotten their hands on them how are they? Are they not perfect? Are they not absolutely delicious? And are they not absolutely the one thing you want to wear for the rest of your life to pair with all your tops? <laughs> I'm getting so aggressive over cargo pants. These two are pretty much the same. I just got one in a cream color and one in a black color. Next up on the list of essential items are backpacks or tote bags. This one I also got from ThreadUp. Did I not tell you that I scored so many back to school gems? in this thread up haul. This one is by Herschel. So not gonna lie, this tote bag came to be much bigger than I expected, than what I saw on the side, but it's actually a really good thing because this means you can put everything, like your entire life savings in here, including your laptops, including all of your accessories, your headphones, your books, your markers, your snacks, your lunch, your outfit changes, everything will be able to fit in this one bag. Got this for $30 off of thread out, while its estimated retail is about $70 or $80. It's made from such a good quality material. I feel like this is even water resistant on the inside. So if you're carrying a water bottle and it happens to spill, you can just clean it with a cloth. Also, I just wanted to point out that I saw this exact bag on Poshmark and someone's selling it for $75. So on top of all the goodies you can get on ThreadUp, if you use my code right now, Karina35, you guys are going to get an extra 30% off your first order on ThreadUp plus free shipping. So get it, get it right now. It's also going to be linked in the description box. Click the link to get the discount. Up next on the list, we have oversized flannels. I have this one here in green and black, which can I just point out really quickly is a much more affordable dupe for the Princess Polly one that's going viral. And then we have this beige and black one, which I feel is a little bit more wearable because the colors are more neutral to pair with. You can basically throw flannels onto any neutral or white and black outfit that you're wearing. But I think one of the key things to making sure that your outfit don't look like you just roll out of bed in your PJs with these flannels are to go with something a little bit more trendy 
trendier for footwear or for your jeans so this one i'm still going for the cargo jeans that everyone and their cat should buy i'm just wearing both with my new aj's because i just feel really really badass and street gal in them speaking of shoes the next category we're going to be launching straight into shoes or comfy footwear to last you the entire day while you're running between classes so i've basically been rotating between these four pairs of sneakers throughout this entire video so far so the first two i want to talk about are these new balance 990 v5 and these new balance 530s these ones are a little bit pricier at around 200 dollars it does feel really really cushy on the inside like it feels like you are stepping into a cloud hug for your foot and i think this is more for like a truly walking slash running shoe so they have to make it like sturdier this one is the one i've been wearing a lot recently i wore this out for an event and a lot of people were asking me where i got these shoes even though i tag it in like every single post i believe you can get them from essence or asos if they're out of this in your size make sure to check out the men's section because this is a unisex pair of shoe and i got this as a men's six and i believe this shoe also comes in both men and women i got this in the size women's seven and a half. Oh, and this one is definitely more lightweight and much more breathable because it's meshy i've been wanting to get the converse lift i believe this is what it's called or the converse platform for such a long time but i've always held back because i was afraid of how it was going to make my foot blister i did not have a good experience with the regular converse like the ones with the low tops when they first came out so i was a little bit apprehensive but i feel like this section here is a lot wider to begin with than the low-rise originals so if you're thinking about getting this get it in your usual size or go down half a size i got this in the size US 7. And then my newest pair of AJ, I feel like I got such a good deal out of this. I actually met up with a random stranger dude on Facebook Marketplace. Thank God I wasn't kidnapped. I think it's called Stage Haze and they just came out with this in May or July of this year. Very excited to be able to get my hands on these and style these for more like back to school or street fashion style. Oh, also got these in the size youth 6.5. Thought they were going to be extremely uncomfortable and rigid to walk in. They're actually not. So if you're thinking about getting these, they're both trendy and coffee coffee comfy <laughs> for those of you who are going back to school in super hot weathers and climates i did not forget about you we're talking about skorts and shorts next i am always a firm believer that if you're going to invest in a pair of biker shorts for example make sure that one it does not see through and two it does not give you a camel toe camel toe is a starting point for a yeast infection and we do not want that happening especially in hot and humid weather this one that i'm wearing right now is a two-piece set so when you're buying the shorts you're buying the top along with the shorts which i also happen to think is a super cute set the key to not having a wedgie or a camel toe or a yeast infection in your biker shorts is you want to find a pair of biker shorts that has a really long torso area or this midriff area you guys can see that even though it comes extremely high-waisted all the way here this part is not digging in and i'm not like having to pull it down as i'm walking about also it's made from this really comfortable breathable knit material that does not see through from the back which i really appreciate you can also just wear the shorts on its own or pair with an oversized t-shirt if you're feeling like really feminine and girly one day and you would really like to be in a pair of skirts may i suggest to you a pair of skorts instead so this i recently got of zara and i love it so much i got this in size extra small but it was still a little bit too big for me so i think i'll take it to my tailor and get a hand somehow so this is what the skirt looks like on me from the front you cannot tell that it's a pair of skorts and then from the back no questions asked pair of shorts it's a little bit on the see-through side but you know what i'm just gonna deal with that by wearing skin colored underwear I feel like you can still feel girly and cute in a skirt that looks like a skirt but it's actually not and you'll feel a thousand times more protected from all the pervs out there and you won't have to be worried all the time you know trying to pull it down your leg if however you do decide to go with a pair of really cute skirt that doesn't have built-in shorts that is not a skirt to begin with I suggest going with something like this so this is a pair of semi sheer shorts that I talked about in my previous video it is extremely high-waisted so it has tummy control and it's so breathable and lightweight like compared to this biker short you can definitely see the difference in terms of size and even weight so this is meant to be worn underneath your skirts it also prevents your thighs from chafing which is also super important you don't want to be in pain of any sort we stretchy look at this leggings next so these are the leggings that are pretty much skin tight you put them on they're super high waisted and they go all the way down to your ankles so for those of you who have been watching my channel for a while you guys know that i'm a giant fan of the lululemon align leggings but recently i found out that glow mode has very very similar leggings to lululemon even down to the material down to the design so over here i have lululemon leggings and on the other side i have glow mode leggings you can tell that the glow mode ones has the little v cut near the waist area it's not quite as long it does come only 
in one length and has no logo along the back waist area so but other than these design differences you're basically getting the same type of fabric it's the same buttery soft fabric i know for lululemon you're able to customize the different lengths of the legging and for glow mode you can't so i do suggest the glow mode one to those of you on a budget or for those of you who are around 5'2 to 5'6 if you're taller than that or if you're shorter than that it's best for you to go with lululemon because then you're able to truly customize the legging to your body okay moving on to another type of leggings and these ones are the flared leggings but they're making a huge comeback and i personally just freaking adore down you can get flare leggings basically anywhere but these ones i found is also from glow mode surprise surprise i think it really really is so similar to the super high rise groove flare pants from lululemon again i don't have the actual item with me because it is always freaking sold out but yeah it retails for over a hundred dollars and with glow mode you are not paying that price or nearly that price at all also only comes in one length so for tall girlies out there you guys are out of luck maybe just wait for lululemon to be back in stock these have the perfect amount of flare in my opinion it's not too wide it's not too skinny flares out from the knee making your proportions look amazing it is extremely high-waisted without digging into your waist like a lot of the other pants do oh why can't they have it in a long size why can't glow mode just come up with long size we need like a glow mode tall or a glow mode Seat. Okay, lastly, I want to go into overshirts. So these are pretty much my summer essentials for when I'm going out, especially when I go in and like a romper, I love to throw something like this over it. I figured it might still be applicable to some of you who are going back to school in essentially the summertime and would want something really lightweight, really breathable to block off the sun and to also prevent your outfit from getting dress coated. These ones are just the ones that I personally reach for in my closet and I will be linking them down below. Oh, okay, girlies, let's not forget the most essential of the essentials, which is our bra and undies. So what I'm wearing right now is the perfect comfy everyday t-shirt bra that you can wear under your t-shirt and not have it see through so this is what i was wearing underneath my a goldie t-shirt this is slightly on the see-through side and you totally cannot see it when you put it on plus it's made of 100 percent silk and there is a built-in pad here that is not thick and not overwhelming at all you don't even feel it when it's on you skip the wired bras with the push-ups and the crazy metal clasps and go for something like this like a little bit more breathable and lightweight your boobies will thank you i swear and then moving on to undies when you have your period the last thing you want to do is worry non-stop all day about your period especially on day one or day two i feel you completely i have such heavy flow that sometimes i wish you know i just like take out my uterus and just like throw it away this is a pair of period undies that i will be linking down below so this is extremely comfortable because it is extremely high-waisted it covers all the way up to my upper waistline and this is giving my uterus a hug i don't know about you but when i'm on my period i want something to tight fitting around my midriff area so this does a really really good job at that plus it has this absorbing built-in pad area this has super absorbency and it fits the equivalent of eight tampons worth of fluids eight tampons this is the only thing i would wear if i was wearing something like light colored or like a white skirt for example okay guys i hope that wasn't too long of a video and i hope this video was somewhat informative in terms of what you guys need to get for back to school if you are going back to school i would like to know if you guys have any dress codes at all so i can keep that in mind as i'm working on the back to school lookbook for you guys if you guys are interested in thread up please make sure to click the link in the description box with my discount code karina35 you guys can get an extra 35 percent off your first order plus free shipping so do not let this deal go to waste i am like 200 percent sure you guys can find some awesome back to school essentials on thread up and with that thank you for watching my videos as always and i love you all and i'll see you in my next video bye Enjoy the last of your summer. Or if you're still stuck in forever summer, enjoy your day. <laughs>